Well, we're getting our last minute stuff ready for our trip. I got uh, Vin Diesel with me. And uh, uh, she's already complaining because I didn't get her a top box. So, but uh, you know, I guess that's my fault. But anyhow, we're getting it all together. We got all our gear on our bikes. The wind is kind of whipping right now. So that's a little bit of a concern uh, going out the 40, but I think we're gonna do it. It's awful warm today. It's probably about 85, 90 degrees right now, but we're gonna get things going. We're gonna go on this scooter trip. Hopefully we make it to Chicago. This thing is questionable. So we'll keep you posted and let you know how it goes, right? Yeah. Right, Vin? You ready for the trip? Ready. Vin's ready. We're in Ludlow, California, gassing our beasts up, and it is hot, man. It, it was up to 103, and it is uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. Um, Vin Diesel's dying right now. Are you dying, Vin? I'm hiding in the shade. <laughs> She's hiding in the shade. So we are on the 40. Actually, this is part of Route 66 right here, this road here. So we're in Ludlow, and we should be in Needles soon. Talk to you there. We're out at Amboy, California. It's old Route 66 and my wife is hating life oh, right now. <laughs> it's 106 right now and it is, what time? Like probably 7.30, almost eight o'clock. But uh, we're just gonna show you a little uh, what this place is like, it's pretty cool. This is Roy's Motel and it's kind of a iconic place. Uh, a lot of this area they used in the uh, movie Cars for some of the uh, images in Cars. Also, uh, you can see Amboy Crater right over there kind of cool off in the distance this place was used by the railroad a lot but uh, there's no real good water here so the water was trucked in by the railroad they actually um, would bring in water tankers so there's no fresh groundwater it's all salt and bad mineral water I guess from what I've been told it's almost like it's almost like it's on display you know uh, I know people don't stay here anymore but uh, Look at that, it's kind of cool. Just a cool area to check out. So if you're ever in Southern California, these used to be motels along Route 66. You can see some in the back too, but these are all just open and vacant now. And um, just kind of a cool area. Nobody really screws with anything, so they just leave things open. But yeah, this is a little old hotel room that they had back in the day. There it is. Roy's Route 66, Amboy, California. Man Cave Mayhem. We're getting off of Route 66 and back on the 40, so uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bikes are doing well so far. Uh, Vin Diesel's bike is actually holding up, but we're keeping our fingers crossed. We still got 2,000 miles to roll. Actually, 4,000 miles to go, so it's gonna be a long ride. And Granny is, I got to keep her happy. Happy wife, happy life. So that's all for now. All right, we made it to my buddy Frank's house on Route 66 a lot of the way. We went went through a couple cool areas, but uh, right now we did uh, 223 miles today. Uh, kind of late in the day and it was hotter than heck. My wife's getting, getting us set up for tomorrow. Going to get an Airbnb room. Uh, in Flagstaff. We're going to go hit some sites along Route 66, so stay tuned. And we are going to have a blast, I hope, if we don't die of heat exhaustion. 20 to 30 percent chance of rain tomorrow. Next day it's like 80 percent chance, so we're going to be doing some rain riding too. Stay tuned for Route 66. Get your kicks on Route 66.
right, we are in the Route 66 Museum in Canyon, Arizona. We're taking a little break from the heat. Right, Mama? It's hot. It is definitely hot. So we are just relaxing here, and our destination today is... Flagstaff. Flagstaff. She's the ride leader, and she pretty much bosses me around and tells me what to do. Believe it or not, I don't I don't get to boss her around. She's she's the boss. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, so uh anyhow. Anyhow, I kind of miss Wes. But that's it for now. We're going to we're going to keep you posted. Our destination's a, a Flagstaff today. We're taking it easy. It's only about a 200-mile ride, I think, or a little over 200 miles, but we're going to try to follow as much of the original Route 66 as we can. So stay tuned. We got a long ways to go before we hit Chicago. Hello, little helmet camera. Please don't. We are eating. Where are we at? Kingman? We're in Kingman, kind of Kingman, heading to Peach Springs. And look at. Oh! Granny thinks she looks bad. I think she looks good. We're out here at Route 66, Hackberry. Pretty cool setup here. Just another stop along the way on the famous Route 66. There's the bikes, we're all loaded down. and Just kind of taking our time, taking it easy. It's cooler now. It's about 91 degrees, but it feels like it's 70. So we got a breeze and uh, there's moisture in there. We're supposed to get some rain maybe later on today or tomorrow. So that's all for now. We'll keep you posted as we go. The wife's inside spending money. Bye. We found a resident kitty here in Hackberry. How you doing, kitty cat? It's super sweet. Oh yeah. He's just chilling on the... <laughs> Can you say man cave mayhem, huh? How you doing, Charlie, huh? Pretty good kitty. We're gonna leave our mark in Hackberry. He's vandalizing right now. Ooh, he's vandalizing. There you go. I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. <laughs> We're at Grand Canyon Caverns. The weather has been fantastic out. Um, we're getting ready to go on a Grand Canyon Caverns tour right off of Route 66. Close to the Grand Canyon, actually. But anyhow, you can see it's kind of windy. But the riding's been great. It's about 85 degrees, but it feels more like 70 the way the, way the weather's been. So it's been awesome. This Man, if you guys get a chance to do this, you really should give it a shot because this is a lot of fun. My wife and I are having a blast. I do miss Wessie though. Private tour, you get a ghost walk. They can bring me down dinner, dessert, or alcohol, whatever you'd prefer. If you guys would like, go ahead this and make a loop around a the stage that way. For two people, 900 plus yeah. tax. That's a good deal. We're gonna It'd be like a thousand bucks. I'm a man in a cave causing mayhem. <laughs> We're not Why gonna cause it here. <laughs> Bummer. Too expensive. I'm sad. Pretty. All right, one's pretty one's expensive. One's So we are now in Flagstaff. Who's a man in a man cave causing mayhem? See, she doesn't, nobody ever says it right. Nobody no, ever says it right. No, because I'm not the man, so right, I had right. to say it kind of. We can't have women in the man cave. So, Anyhow. I'm the sister of a man in a cave causing mayhem. She's an ornery sister. I found a sister of mine <laughs> that I'm kind of regretting. No. <laughs> he, he, <laughs> I'm he just picked me up hitchhiking. <laughs> he just picked me up hitchhiking. That damn <laughs> DNA <laughs> stuff. You got to hate it. <laughs> that stinking family ancestry crap. Look what I found. <laughs> She's not even rich either. That's what makes me sad. <laughs> 
So what are we going to do with ourselves, huh? <laughs> We're a mess, huh? <laughs> At least I could have found somebody with some wealth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I've done it, and she's a little disappointed too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're I'll two pigs in a blanket, I'll right? Keep you. All right, sounds okay. good. It's good to see you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> and that's it. I'm that's just a man awful. in a cave causing mayhem. That's how you're supposed to sit. No, I'm not a man though. <laughs> I'm with a man in a cave causing mayhem. There we go. This is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Thanks for watching the first volume of our Route 66 scooter trip. There's so much more footage that I have to show you guys, and we had such a great time on that trip. Um, I don't want to do any spoiler alerts, but there's a lot more to show you. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and just remember, I'm just a man in a cave causing mayhem. Thanks again for watching.